Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this like glitter, cut crease, smoky eye, whatever you want to call it. Um, I haven't done glitter in so long, like loose glitter in like a really long time. So I kind of have fun doing this look. It took super long, like I've been sitting here for like five hours, like just trying to get this look together. But I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Alright guys, so I already primed my lips and set them, so I'm just going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm just going to take this shade right here. And we're going to use that as our first transition color. Taking a smaller brush, and I'm just going to blend out the edges. Now I'm going to go in with a more darker brown and I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put that in my crease and I'm just going to keep building this color until it becomes as dark as I want it. Going back in with that brush and I'm just going to blend this out. I'm going to go in with the same brush and I'm going to take an even darker brown. It's all about building up. So I'm just going to take this darker brown and I'm going to put just a little bit in the crease just to give it more depth. Blend out the edges, of course. I'm gonna take like this little bullet brush, it's like one of those smudgers. And this one's actually like a sponge version. But anyways, I'm just gonna go in with this black. And I'm just gonna put that like right on the outer like corner, outer crease, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm just gonna put it like on this outer part. I am gonna blend it out so don't be coming for me. Right there. I'm just going to take this other bullet brush. And this one's actually a brush. And I'm just going to blend that out. Going back into that black with this brush. Just one like dab. And I'm just going to deepen that up a little bit. Right, so I already carved out my crease with concealer so now I'm gonna go with this like gold shade and I'm just gonna put that all over the lid before the concealer creases I really don't like how this brush is like freaking applying this I'm just gonna take a small like flat brush and just apply that I left like the creases like a little angled because I'm gonna do the wing liner so I just want like a little guide from like how like um far out I want it or like how thick I want it I don't know if that makes any sense but you'll see all right so now we're gonna do the wing liner and I'm gonna go with the the NYX gel liner I'm actually not gonna do a wing like I just want it to like blend into the um my crease that's why i want to make it a little darker so even if we mess up we're still gonna put glitter on top of it so it doesn't really matter so i'm just gonna like start right here 
And this is what I meant as using that as a guide. I'm going with like a smaller eyeliner brush and just like get like in the in the corner. Now I'm just gonna take this um brush that we used before for the black and I'm just gonna like feather out this eyeliner. Just so that it's not so harsh, I kind of want to make this a little bit more dramatic, but like I'm scared. Alright guys, so I made the eyeliner a little thick, and now that we have the liner, I'm going to go in with um, the glitter. So I'm going to take this lash glue, this is from, I believe it's from Kiss. This is my favorite eyelash glue, and it looks all beat up and nasty. It has this applicator which makes it way easier to do glitter now. So I'm just going to apply this to any areas that you see the gold. We're going to take gold glitter and this is just like some random gold glitter that I got um in like a set. And I believe I bought this off of Amazon. And it came with like 18 different colors like really pretty. And it was really cheap as well. And I'm going in small sections because I don't want glitter everywhere. I just, ah! I just want it in a certain like spot. And now I'm just going to go on with this black with like a small, like little angle brush. And I'm just going to deepen up my crease. Alright guys, so we're not finished with the eyes, but I'm going to start on my face and then come back to my eyes. And I'm just going to go on with the Too Faced RX Primer. This is like legit my favorite freaking primer ever. Like ever. So now that we primed the face, I'm going to go in with an oldie but goodie. Since my face is breaking out, I kind of want like a full coverage. So, especially with this kind of look, you want a full coverage. So I'm just going to go on with, and don't ask why it looks like this. Like the whole, you know all my makeup is broken. Like don't be surprised. But anyways, this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation. I am going to mix this because I think this is a little too light for my um skin. So I'll probably mix it with the NYX. Before, I used to mix it with the LA um, Girl Foundation, which is super, 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 super good. And it's super inexpensive. I'm just going to dab this all over. And then I'm going to take the NYX um, Total Drop in Mahogany, and I'm going to mix that. I'm going to go on with my beauty blender, and I'm just going to blend this out. And let's see how this looks, because I don't know how these mix together. You guys already know what concealer I'm going to use, which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I believe, like I've seen reviews on YouTube, personally me, I haven't tried out the Tarte Shape Tape. But a lot of YouTubers say that um, the Tarte Shape Tape is actually, I mean the Wet n Wild is actually a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Ugh, that is like a freaking tongue twister. And the Wet n Wild is actually $4, so it's really good. But if this is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, girl, go get some. I really do want to try that concealer, though, because um, everybody says it's, like, the best concealer of all concealers. Like, it's full coverage, and me, I need full coverage because these designer bags ain't cutting it. All right, now we're going to blend it out. I 
I really don't like the way this foundation looks. Like, it looks too cakey, and I haven't even put any powder on. So, I won't be trying this again next time. Well, I wouldn't be trying this mix again next time. Alright, so now that that's all blended out, that, ugh. I hate that I say alright, like, every time I pick up a new product. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to take my Ben Eye Banana Setting Powder and I'm just going to set wherever I highlighted that. I don't want to put too much powder because, like I said, my face already looks cakey. And, girl, I need to take pictures of this look because this eye is, like, really pretty. So for bronzer, I actually got this as a gift from, uh, for my birthday. And it actually came with Laguna bronzer. And I've been like dying to get this freaking bronzer for so long, but it's just so expensive. So I just be like, do I really need that? Like all the concert kits and stuff that I have? Don't need it. But anyways, so I finally got Laguna bronzer. I swatched it. It looks a little bit too light for my skin tone, which makes me sad. But we're going to try it out anyways. Because, you know, why not? I'm just going to go in with an angle brush and we're just going to bronze up the face. <laughs> so this bronzer is a little bit, like, too light. Like, it's not light light but it's kind of like the same shade as my skin tone which makes no sense if you're a bronzer just saying but we're gonna try this contour shade which is like a little bit darker but it's more of like a cool tone Bron I'm mean, contour so let's see how this works Right. I'm not really a fan of this bronzer like the whole eye look I love just like the face makeup Ugh. this is why I don't like trying new products because stuff like this happens and then it messes up my whole vibe because it's like damn my eyes is popping but your face what happened anyways I'm gonna move on to bronzer and I'm gonna take this Tarte I mean bronzer Blush. I'm going to take the Tarte brush. Brush? Really? What is wrong with me? Like I said, I'm going to take this Tarte blush. And I think it's in the shade Party. Yeah, it's in the shade Party. And I'm just going to take that and apply that to my cheeks. I kind of don't want to put a lot of blush because I don't want to take away from the eye. Same as with the highlighter. But I think with the highlighter, I'm still going to go crazy because that's just me and that's what I like prefer. So, yeah. For my highlighter, I'm telling you, we trying different parts for the face today. Like, I'm proud of myself. But this is why I don't try products because I really don't like the way this face turned out. But anyways, I'm going to take the Mariah Carey. Um, what is it? The Mariah Carey extra dimension skin finish in my mimi and this was from her collection i think it came out around christmas time and it's like a bronzy gold and i picked this one because look at my eyes and i just kind of wanted to match that but the way this face is going hmm let's see this is really pretty but it's just kind of too dark for me so I'm just going to put a little bit and then I'm going to go over it. I'm kind of not a fan of it because it's not like a blinding highlighter. And you guys know. And I'm just going to take my trusty Laura Geller Gilded Honey and apply that over. See? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Just trying to highlight everywhere you feel me sorry if i seem like i have so much energy like now than i did like from when i first started the video is that like i have energy like to finish this look already because i've been sitting here for about four hours and like my butt is kind of hurting 
Now we're gonna go back to the eyes, and I'm gonna take this brown shade. Duh, I'm not showing you. I'm gonna take this brown shade right here, and I'm just gonna smoke this out on my lower lash line. Just like so. I'm gonna go in with the black, and I'm gonna take this um brush. I I don't know, just the brush. Or am I gonna take a different brush? Oh, I'm gonna take this one, and I'm just gonna like run that really close to my lash line. You guys ever did your makeup and every time like your face makeup is on your nose either just itches so bad or like it just starts running why every time I do my makeup my nose itches or it starts running and it's so annoying I don't know should I do a nude lip or should I do a red lip hmm decisions decisions let's try nude first since nude is easier to come off And this is Baby Doll from NYX, the lip lingeries. Y'all know this is my favorite. One of my favorite glosses. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. Really? This is the Maybelline Shine Shot, not Fit Me. Fit Me is their foundation and concealer. What is wrong with me? And I'm just going to put that on top. This is like one of the best gloss. Like one of the best glosses. I kid you not. This freaking gloss will last you like half a day. You put it on in the morning. When you eat, when you drink, it's still on. It's still glossing. It's still popping. Like. And this is how I would look with a nude lip. Kind of really. Hmm. Kind of really not feeling it. I think I maybe really want to try the red because I don't do red that much. But this lip is really pretty. Kind of goes with it too. But. Try the red and this is actually, this is NARS um, Cruella. This is like one of my favorite freaking reds. So th this is the red. I actually really don't like this red with this look. So <laughs> back to the nude it is. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.